it's Bill Quinn from buildahousesitter.com and this morning we're doing a little bit of what I call desensitizing. Now I might have mentioned, I did mention in previous videos that I don't change behavior of animals. I don't come into somebody else's place, into somebody else's house with somebody else's animals and teach them new things or try and uh, change behavior just because I think that's a fair thing. Not what I do. What I will do is if I find stuff that's uh, just that they get anxious, and normally that's a, 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 a byproduct of the fact that they've been knocked out of their routine because their normal pack leaders are away, then what I'll do is I'll just use some techniques to calm them down. And I've mentioned previously some techniques I've used with these two here are uh, in beautiful sunny Capalabar. Actually, it's beautiful cloudy Capalabar today. These clouds are just superb. And this is the benefit of getting up early. Uh, early for uh, you know for some people uh, I was up at oh, like at five I think and uh, I'd actually done a lot of productive work even before I got out of bed a uh, good couple of hours later I'll give you the tip so it's now about 8 30 I think possibly and uh, today's my day off today's Tuesday my favorite day of the week and Tuesday typically is my day off although I don't always give myself that luxury uh, Tuesday I mentioned this on radio once, I did a whole show, a whole two hour show, just on, because I used to do breakfast uh, radio on a Tuesday morning in Canberra, and so I did a whole uh, two hours on people's favourite songs and days of the week and all that sort of stuff, and finally finished off by announcing that the reason that Tuesday is my favourite day of the week is that when I went to school at Rosary Demonstration School and later at Darum Island College Dixon, and somewhere jammed in the middle of there, there was Ross on Y Grammar School and the John Curl Comprehensive. Tuesday was tuck shop day. It's that simple. That just for a very small child to get, you know, 20 cents in a brown paper bag to go and get your lunch and to maybe have a sunny boy at recess. And uh, uh, oh, our, our speciality at Darum Island was a sausage roll in a bun. Uh, and I used that many years later. When was it? 2014, I think. I uh, had a great conversation with, uh, oh, I'm going to struggle to remember her name. She's a wonderful radio presenter, lives on the central coast of New South Wales, presents on ABC uh, 702 in Sydney, and we had a whole discussion about different types of food, food you had at school. And when I laid on her the sausage roll in a bun, she said, oh, we need to talk with you. <laughs> so I was in Annandale at the time, house-sitting house sitting pot plants and pet rocks, and uh, I rang in and had a great chat with... Linda Mottram, we got there. Linda Mottram on uh, 702 ABC uh, Metro Radio in Sydney. Uh, back, to, back to these guys. Okay, just one second. Now watch this. As soon as he steps over that line. Rachel, come here. Good girl. Good girl. Do you see how immediate that was? Go on the down. Uh, what's the word? Um, not chastise, but, but give directions on the down. And then give lots of love on the up. Good girl. Sweetheart, good girl. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. That is just, it's called talking to dogs, talking to children. And oh dear, I won't point the camera over there, but I have to go and get a bag, which is conveniently, a poo bag, which is conveniently located just inside the door. So I'm doing a couple of things here to just settle the girls down because they're anxious. No, no, try again. Try again. They're not anxious at the moment. They are more so laid back. I've done this many, many times. Last night, uh, we had a whole day together. We had a road trip. We had time together. We had a lovely, lovely nana nap all together in the, uh, in the lounge room. That was sweet. We do that quite a bit now. Oh, now she wants to go inside. What's all that about? Hey, where's your stick? Where's your stick? Get that stick. Get that stick. So I don't know what that was. Oh, I know exactly what that's about. And that's part of the point of the exercise is that um, Little girl over here. Okay, two things first. That car is sitting there for one reason and one reason only. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure that... Jenny, come here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. See, that tone is not nasty. That's just a, a tone from the pack leader to the pack member. I want your attention, so I'm going to do it gruff. Where's your stick? Where's your stick? She's looking for the B-A-L-L. Oh. She's very fixated on the B A L L. The other morning, she was whining outside my door, and I couldn't work out why. Whining and whining and whining. I thought, what's wrong? Are you sick? Are you hurt? No, no. She'd knocked the orange ball under the bed, and she was distressed. Now, a whole bunch of things going on there, which we won't get into now, but let's just say that with children, it's all very well to have a, a pet toy. Hey, I've got my teddy bear. He's almost 50 years old. He comes with me everywhere. Um, 
However, that's great, that's good, and I've had that teddy bear all of my life. Uh, on Thursday, I left it at the Gold Coast. Uh, I didn't stress, I didn't freak out, I just went, oh, that's weird, uh, Teddy's usually there. And then I got a picture pop up on, on Facebook, no, actually, first of all, it came through as a text message, and it was my teddy bear sitting next to what I can only describe as a very satisfied looking cat. And um, uh, aspersions were made as to why the cat was looking so um, relaxed, shall we say, and a bit dro droopy eyed. So, um, okay, so here's the thing. If the dog, if your animal is fixating on one thing, that's, that's a risk. As any parent will know, when the child drops the favourite dummy, drops the blankie, drops it and it can't be found, oh, lordy lord, hell to pay. So, you don't... Well, there's, there's tips and tricks. Now, what I'm doing here is I've taken the orange balls away. She's sort of dealt with that now. I'm using some other balls of different colours, but I'm also, when we're out here, which is just brilliant because nobody is around, uh, we've got shift worker next, well, not shift worker, but, you know, long long shift worker, long, long, there, 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 easy for me to say, a guy there um, who um, is uh, at home, but um, that's okay. We're, we're not impacting on him at all. So we've got all this, we've got all of this room, and then across the road, we've got no dramas. We've got a little gap under the fence, which was superb, because that means if the ball does go under there, they can just scoot under, grab it, and bring it back. So what I'm doing this morning is, um, oh, that's there, because as far as I understand, in other states anyway, it's not legal to wash a car on a flat surface. So that's out there, and we've had some lovely rain. So that's, uh, Mother Nature has already done the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the pre-wash. So, uh, and that looks a bit sus for 8.30 in the morning until you understand that that's my, the, the uh, I was about to say arse end, but I didn't, so thank you. Uh, I, that is the end of my um, Pepsi Max that I uh, got when I left the, the hash last night. So we spent this beautiful long day together, day trip. We had our little nana nap in there for a while. Then I ducked out for two and a half hours to hash down at Redland Bay. Had a brilliant night. Yeah, when I say night, two and a half hours with these guys. Um, wished in some respects that we'd done our day trip down there, except that wait until you hear about our day trip to Eaton's Hill. Oh my God, what an amazing day. And then we went over to Brighton um, and then just sat looking at the, the bay. It was just fantastic. And now uh, back here and, and this morning, there's a point to all this. This morning, yes, is my day off. Tuesday is my Saturday. That's where we started. That's where we came in. Tuesday is my Saturday. I'm giving myself a Saturday. So the girls and I are going to spend lots and lots and lots of lovely time together. And every now and again, we'll just do a little bit of light stuff along the lines of, okay, see, not only does she not need the ball, she's already forgotten about the stick. Okay. If you take one thing away from this animal owner's, don't get your animal into a routine because anytime they get knocked off it, they'll get very distressed and that's when you find things chewed up. So anytime you can break up their day as much as you can, because let's face it, some of us are wage slaves and spend you know nine hours in an airless office or, or commuting, um, that's, that's just the way it's got to be. But anytime you can take that normal day and introduce any sort of differences in it, <sighs> uh, sorry, um, insect on my hand, uh, oh, see what I did then? I didn't swat it, I blew it away. That's another story. Hello, Fiona. Um, okay, I think that's it. That's it. We're done. Um, we're, I'm just going to make sure there's... No, they're just eating weeds. That's okay. Um, it's Bill Quinn from buildthehousesitter.com saying, Happy Tuesday, my favourite day of the week. I'm working. <laughs>